Hello everyone, it's Darren again, and I'm starting my next little project up. And these don't look like they're going to show up very well in the packages, but I'll put them out here anyway. I have never painted any pirates before, so the Bones Kit came with, or the Vampire's Pledge, came with four pirates. We've got a Dwarf Pirate, Gruff Grime Cleaner, sounds like he's Mr. Clean. I probably mispronounced that Phenalia. And I, I wrote these names on here just so I could sort it out. A male pirate and a female pirate. And of course, it looks like the female pirate has the hat, so she's captain. And we'll make that her. Oops. Trying to see if she has elf ears or not. She may. Anyway, I'm just kind of showing the process that I go through here. I'm going to open up each one of these bags. Not on camera, but outside actually, so I can enjoy the good weather. And I'm going to check and make sure that there's no boiling and repositioning that needs to be done on Bones figures sometime. But then, once I get them all out, I'm going to give them a good look. Then I'll take that a paper, and we don't need to see who it's from. It's just a realtor that sends pads of paper, and I just write down what paints I plan to use. And here's a chart I did a long time ago, you know, of all the Master Series paints, and printed it out. And of course, it's got stains all over it now, so I figured, well, you know, they sent a nice glossy catalog of paints with the, the order, so I'll just use that. And the only... Uh, patience. The uh, only problem with that is uh, they don't have a couple of these on here anymore. Like, I think... I can't remember which ones, but it's just like the, the liners. Liners trio is gone. Triad. I think this muted purple is gone. And like this, the greens are gone. So, okay, I've got those paints, so I'm going to keep that. But at least I can use this for the new paints that I got. You know, all the, the paint shop, shop, paint set from the Kickstarter. And this is, you know, punk rock pink. All right, it's on. Uh, it's not on here either. So I gotta create something for that, just so I know which colors I have. I bought a big set a long time ago, so yeah, of course stuff's gonna get obsolete and outdated. And but I've known I'm gonna be doing the pirates for quite some time. But you know, I had a couple problems. One, you know, it's got the standard, well, the, I guess the bone standard. Yeah, those don't look like broccoli bases to me. But let's see if they've. You know, that one's got a wood one. And, yeah, you can always already tell he's going to have to be bent back in shape. But uh, some of these are sand, some of these are wood. So now I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I went to the Eagle Empire and bought some bases at least so I can put those on because I didn't have any real bases for them. And I've got enough resin kit that I could mold several bases really quickly by myself, but eh, it's copyright violation, so I won't. Um, anyway, I'm going to take these out of the bag. But what? Wait, what I was talking about the basing. So, you know, what I was planning to do was just do everybody on wood planks, but now I may have to think of something else. But one of the little reuses I was going to do was I ruined a uh, file cabinet drawer slider. It's all bent up right there, and all the little bearing, ball bearings came out, and really upset. And yeah, I can almost pop those ball bearings out now. Actually, that one probably is popped out. But okay, you know I replaced that for my wife because I did it. But I can use those ball bearings as cannonballs don't know if I need to paint them or what. That's going to be a pain in itself, but 
I might make one of those little mic. I won't. My God. I might make one of those little uh, brass monkeys. If you don't know the story, where it's got all the cannonballs in like a pyramid shape, like nine and four and one. So all the cannonballs stay right next to the cannons. And I thought, eh, greasy, greasy. I thought that would be kind of a cool thing. Let's see. If it's nine on the bottom, four, it's 13, 14 I would need. So four, eight, 12. Okay, I've got plenty of, plenty of these, but I thought making a little thing of cannonballs to sit next to them would work. Of course, now I have to go back and think, do I really want to mess up everyone's base, cut their legs off like he's in the sand? Or maybe I do a rowboat or, or a plank coming down or something. So I was going to make kind of a diorama type thing. But now we'll just have to wait and see. And I'm not going to limit myself to the, the small set of Kickstarter stuff, paints that they had. I've, I'm going with my full list of you know, all the paints I have available to me. So it'll be a little bit more fun to me this time. And we'll see where it goes. Say it's an introduction. My English today. Mm. As I was saying, I will make this an introduction video. If all right, kind of. I've got them all out of the package, and if you can notice, the quote female pirate is not standing up straight. She's got a definite bend to her. So I'm going to have to try to unbend her, I think. Plus, every single sword is a little wonky. Put her up. And that one's probably okay. So She could probably be fine. His sword, a little bit bent right there. So I'll straighten it out a little bit. That'll straighten out his arm some. And then Mr. Grime Clean. He is leaning way back. But I happen to like the pose. I didn't notice he's got a peg leg, too. Anyway, so I'm going to leave him like that. I've kind of come up with a solution. He's got a sandy bottom. He's got a sandy base. She's got wood and base, and she's got a wooden base. And... Get that more down. So what I think I'm going to do is have him. I'm going to kind of build a little diorama with him. And so, you know, the captain will be... I might even leave the lean a little bit. Have uh, some wooden planks coming down. I don't have anything to pretend to be it. And then have her standing up, up above ah, on some on a like a part of a boat with a dropped ramp. I don't even know that they existed there, but that's what it's going to be. It's a little bit of a ramp going down. She's going to be on the ramp looking. He's going to be in some water. It's a little sandy. And he's going to be kind of looking back like, are you serious? That's what you want us to do? And so, you know, I'll probably make a... Diorama, somewhere like that big. Actually, that'd be a good shape if I triangle it, because I don't have to do as much. And I'll put some scenic water in, maybe a couple of seashells, and try to duplicate the sandy effect around. I don't know how long that'll take me, so I may just concentrate on the figures first. But you know, I quote have a plan for later if I need it. But anyway, so boiling him, her, him, and these two can be as is. So the next step after this, if you can see, there's some pretty nasty mold lines, and I've actually never cleaned off the mold lines of bones figures before, so I might want to pick something easier to work with, well, not easier, a different figure that might be a little bit more educational to myself. And I do not plan on painting all of these on a video. 
I may paint one of them. And I think she's going to be the most interesting one. I've got uh, I've got a oops. I've got a green clothing scheme for each of them. They'll all have green shirts and then the captain here she'll have a a blue jacket that you know looks out of place it's kind of you know they just finished raiding a ship and she took the coat from the captain and the hat maybe go with that I've got a daughter so she's going in a bodysuit she's not going to be completely naked like it appears she is and I think I'll do linen pants, that sort of thing. And I hadn't gotten too far in the, the plan, but I think he's getting rosy skin. The girls are getting fair skins. He's just bounce around a lot more than metals. And then he's going to get tan skin. And I think that's about all I've got, and probably all I'll do this video. i got to sit and play with boiling and how to get mold lines off bones figures. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to call this an episode and I'll see you all next time.